Hi everyone, my name is Joe Clark, I'm with Advisix, and today we're gonna to be talking about VMware Cloud on AWS and the solution architecture, some of the components that it makes up. Let's start by sort of just doing a diagram here, real simple, one that most folks would be, you know, for the most part, you know, familiar with. We've got a virtual center on site and probably some hosts and some storage underneath it. And this is a, you know, architecture that most folks are very, very familiar with. And one of the interesting things that we're seeing as there's this move to cloud computing and a need to be able to burst workloads out, we've just seen a bunch of different use cases come to light around how we can actually use cloud computing. And what VMware Cloud on AWS does is first and foremost, it makes use of AWS's global infrastructure across the board. So VMware Cloud on AWS is effectively, we take the VMware stack and we run that on top of AWS's hardware platform that is internationally available. So the regions are all available on the website. You can go and look at it and see where they're available. So, but what's important here is that there's also a vCenter that's involved and we see three distinct technologies here that are leveraged inside of VMware Cloud on AWS. And those are the vSphere, your NSX, and vSAN technologies, which make up your hypervisor, your software-defined networking, and your software-defined storage that are involved in the solution. Now, the great part about this is what we have between on-prem and our VMware Cloud on AWS is something called hybrid linked mode. And what this is, is if you're familiar with vSphere, you understand that if you had linked mode set up between vCenters previously, you had to keep those in sync in order for it to be a supported configuration. Well, with hybrid linked mode, you can actually have it so that this environment that is perpetually managed by VMware is continually updated and backwards compatible with all the way back to vSphere 5.5, allowing you a super easy migration path into VMware Cloud and AWS or to just leverage it as an additional instance of VMware. And uh, one of the, the really powerful things that we end up seeing is that when we are running VMware Cloud on AWS, we unlock all of the native AWS capabilities that we might see such as EC2, which is virtual machines, S3, RDS, DynamoDB, other things that are available natively in AWS are gonna end up being right next to any of the things that we have stood up here on VMC. So we have our traditional vSphere platform. Now, now why is this useful? This is useful because if we're looking at leveraging a cloud provider such as AWS with EC2 or Azure Compute or something in Google, Google Cloud Platform, what we end up seeing is that there's some, there's some training that has to happen there. You have to understand how the control panel works, how the resources are deployed, how to manage them, how to get them connected to networks and everything. If you have familiarity at all with NSX, VMware Cloud on AWS is very, very much native to you and it just simply snaps right in. You manage the workloads in exactly the same fashion. And when you purchase the hosts, you can either do this on demand or in one or three year reservation chunks. And the discounts get steeper uh, the more the reservations go out. So you might be looking at this and going, oh, that's great, you know, it's, um, I, I get it, it's leveraging AWS, it's gonna be right next to any AWS services that I have that are running already. But like really what are the use cases for something like this? And the use cases really are quite simple. Uh, the first is extend to cloud. In the event that you need to burst, such as retail workloads, you need, you need additional compute for only a season. You can actually scale out all of the hosts that you have available and then scale them back at the end of that season or at the end of that heavy time of workload. So that's on-demand consumption that can be consumed and then returned back later. Um, we also see DR as a service being a widely popular way of doing this so that you don't have to pay for all the compute all the time. In fact, with, AW, with VMware Cloud and AWS, you can use either the i3 metal or the R5 metal nodes, which allow you to use EBS or Amazon's elastic block storage as vSAN storage. This allows you to have very, very dense um, storage capabilities with a super light compute footprint, which is something that's very, very powerful. Uh, another one that we see is virtual desktop infrastructure. It's been very, very popular for folks to say, we would really just rather have, you know, uh, a DR environment that really only has, you know, let's start out with maybe three hosts, and then if we get into trouble, we can always just, boom, push the lever down and scale that out to as many as we need in the event of a disaster. And it gives you the infrastructure to have not only your vCenter, but all your VDI management components stood up as well. 
uh, we see the ability to have immediate scale. Anytime I talk with someone that says, you know, one of the things that we really need is a scalable environment, one of the hardest questions is, well, how fast are things going to come through the door? From a, you know, purchasing and requisition, racking, stacking, connecting perspective, more often than not, it's weeks instead of minutes. And that's the power of leveraging the AWS global infrastructure. And then finally, we see that there's actually a, a bonus option, which is metro clusters are really, really difficult to do most of the time well. It takes a lot of planning, takes design exercises, takes quorum between multiple sites. And this is something that VMware can actually do natively, even just between VMware Cloud on AWS instances in different availability zones. So with that, we can see that not only are there a bunch of different use cases for VMware Cloud on AWS, but it's easy to understand and easy to set up for folks that already know how vSphere works. I'm Joe Clark. Thanks for watching.